Hi, welcome to another episode of Independence Spotlight. As always, I'm your host, Kevin Neal Smith. I recently had a chance to sit down with the owner of Bowman Chevrolet and Bowman Auto Center for a brief chat. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Independent Spotlight. I'm Kevin Smith, joined by Katie Bowman at the Bowman Auto Center. Thanks yes. for having us. You are very welcome. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. So give me a little bit of a rundown of your personal history, if you will. How did you find yourself in this chair? Well, let's see. I have um, I moved my office up here probably five years ago. So. Mm -hmm in this particular chair five years ago. <laughs> but um, no, getting into the business, um, I had started out in clothing retail. Mm -hmm. um, I always liked, you know, fashion and kind of, you know, that part of retail. So I was in that business about seven years after college. I worked for Ralph Lauren um, Polo Corporation. That's cool. In New York City and I went to Sydney, Australia. And then I came back to Michigan because I really wanted to be back in Michigan, you know, to settle down and, and build my life. And um, that's when my dad said, why don't you come work for me? Mm -hmm. And he reminded me that selling cars is still a retail, you know, business. So, oh, yeah. yeah, and there were a lot of parallels. And it only took me about, like, three, four months. And then I realized, you know, how cool it was and how much there was to learn and, you know, how many things I could do that were similar, you know, to what I had been doing before. But... Um, in, in Michigan, which is where I wanted to be. So I got really lucky and yeah. I'm really thankful that, that you know, my dad asked me to come work with him. Perfect. Yeah. Now you said you, you came to find you really enjoyed it. What's one thing you really enjoy about it? I think really the people, um, the way to connect to uh, my employees and also to the customers and to the community. Um, that's what I had really enjoyed with, with fashion and I think you know, shared a love of, of that in my life, but really, you know, it gets down to your, you know, connections and relationships that you build um, in your business. Uh, and I love cars, and I, I think it's obviously such a important aspect of people's lives, how they, you know, get around, and you have to have good, reliable transportation. So, you know, it just kind of uh, translated to that, and I, I still love the people part the most. Oh, I bet. I mean, I see you guys out in the community <laughs> everywhere yes. at every event. So what are some of the events or services you, you kind of collaborate with or provide? Yeah, so um, my dad had started uh, partnering with uh, local charities um, when he first started the business. And so I continued that and then added a couple extra charities that were, you know, close to my heart. So um, we've supported Easter Seals, um, SCAMP, uh, My Habitat, Clarkston, Clarkston Area Youth Assistance. Uh, those are our four main charities, and I've added on the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Um, my daughter has Crohn's disease, so that became really personal for me. Mm -hmm. um, and we just really try to also find out what our employees are you know, going through or interested in and support things that are important to them. Our customers will tell us too, and we have a place on our website where people can request donations. So we look at those every year and we support as many as we possibly can. So I think like in terms of um, our ability to host events, that uh, expanded when we bought this building, Bowman Auto Center in 2013, um, because it's a really, really big showroom and lots of parking. So we were able to like let Easter Seals um, have their Cheers Gala here. Mm -hmm. And then they eventually outgrew us, which is <laughs> wonderful. That's the idea. In Rochester Mills? Now yes, right? yep, now it's at Rochester Mills. Um, and then um, My Habitat Clarkston is, um, I think this will be our third year hosting their spring gala, and that's gone well and grown mm -hmm. each year, so hopefully they'll outgrow us. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're open for that. I mean, if the community, you know, is interested in having an event um, and it benefits, you know, the Clarkston area, then we're open to doing that because we'd like our facility to be useful, you know, mm -hmm. in addition to uh, selling and servicing cars. So, perfect. Yeah. What are some, say I come by a car, what are some of the general services I get over at either of your locations? Yeah, um, well, at both locations you get, you know, really um, well-qualified, friendly um, salespeople, service advisors, um, you know, that's on the, on the front end of things. So, you know, you're dealing with people that are professionals um, and they're on your side. They're not pushy. 
I don't believe in doing anything that's pushy. We should be an advocate for you and for what really works best for your life, for your transportation. And then behind the scenes, we have um, ASE certified trained technicians. Um, we have a master, two master techs, and we have techs that have gone up, you know, in their training to the highest levels that are available in the state and in the country. That's awesome. Um, it really is awesome, and it's important when you're, you know, taking care of your car. Thanks for having this quick sit down with us. Oh, you're so welcome. It's really great. Thanks for being here. It's always great to sit down with business owners around town to learn about their history and the services they offer our community. We truly appreciate Katie Bowman taking the time to chat with us. Up next, we would like to share a video that our very own intern Kyle put together. It's about clean water. Let's take a look. A vision for clean water was started in 2003 to bring safe drinking water and sanitation to those who need it through education and collaboration. I've been able to gain a lot of technical knowledge. This is our second conference um, with a vision for clean water. The first one we focused on water quality testing, um, which we were actually able to use um, down in Haiti to test our reverse osmosis water filters that we've been putting in and also sample uh, some of what the community has been drinking. We are looking at a different system which we have not implemented um, and they're bio sand water filters. We're gaining the technical knowledge on that to learn different alternatives to water quality. Uh, in our country we are working on developing the uh, uh, household water treatment and safe storage uh, technology uh, manual. So I'm trying to include this biosound filter also as one of the technology in our country. Uh, so I would like to more learn more about all this. I just implement when I come back home. So you see um, that by providing this forum, uh, we're basically starting a snowball effect so that the information can spread through other people, through, through different countries, uh, hopefully around the world. I've been learning so much already about what access there is to clean water, how we take for granted the fact that we're here and the access that we have to clean water, that we can literally just walk a couple feet, turn on a faucet, and we have water running right out of the faucet. That's just something that you really don't think about or take into consideration, and been learning a lot about how that's just not the case for millions of people around the world. The filters that we're bringing have to be low cost. The people we help often only earn one to three dollars a day. So they can't have wires and they can't have replaceable filters. And when we leave, we have to know that that filter will work for them perfectly for a long, long time. Um, in addition to learning about water, we get to learn about people. As a volunteer, we pick people up at the airports, um, bring them up, have them overnight in our homes, and it's a real pleasure to get them, get to meet these people. And we find out people are people. They have all the same interests and the same worries and the same concerns, so yeah, it's a real joy to do. I'm going to use this workshop um, with the information that I learned last year to sort of design a project that's going to be used to um, offer the residents at that location uh, opportunities to clean water um, and also different techniques to sanitize the water and just bring about um, water treatment. So I'm here taking part of the training because um, I'll eventually be delivering this same training in Chad and then around the world to a lot of our local partners who are interested in uh, increasing the coverage of household water treatment technologies and access to safe drinking water. You, 
understand the world around you better. And if you, by volunteering for, for this, you're not only understanding the world better, you, you are feeling uh, that you are perhaps helping level the playing field with, with developing countries. But to me, the more important is, is, is sort of self-growth intellectually, uh, because I feel phenomenally fortunate to have been able to spend uh, time in developing countries. Kyle did a great job with that video. If you want to see it again or share it with someone, you can find it on our YouTube page. It's fall, and that means the Rotary held its annual fall wine tasting. We have a quick montage for you we'd like to share. Let's take a look. Here at Independence Television, we try to make content that you want. Each year we submit that content for a variety of awards, and this year we won multiple awards for shows and one-off videos such as Independence Spotlight, Painting with Picasso's Grapevine, Battle at the Big House 2, Water is Worth It, and Jack. If you have not seen any of these, you can check them out on our YouTube page and our Facebook page. Speaking of community content, we recently created a series of new ITV promos and we will be releasing them over the next few weeks. These videos speak to why ITV is so important to this community from the community perspective. As we leave you today, we would like to share one of those videos. We will be posting the entire series, including this one, on our YouTube page and on our Facebook page over time. As always, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. If you have an event or show you would like to make, contact us at 248-623-3661. Have a good one. Community media is important to me because it provides an opportunity for us to share needed information with people in the community. Talking to people one-on-one -on -one is awesome, but I can give information that's very important and beneficial and provide change. And without this community media, that would not be possible.